how to delete only file and directory inside a directory with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. Yes, you heard correctly, I want to delete all the file and directory inside, but not the main directory, yay! I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. We are talking about Ansible module find. The full name is ansible.builtin.find, which means that is part of a collection included in the Ansible core built-in collection and ready out of a box in your machine. This module returns a list of files based on a specific criteria using the find the popular Unis command. Parameter. The most important parameter of a find module for this use case. The mandatory parameter paths specify the list of paths of directory to search. You could include a hidden file with a hidden parameter, as well as recurse in any directory under the main path with a recurse parameter. Another useful parameter is file underscore type, default to file, but you could filter for directory, link or any file system object type. Are you ready to have fun? Let's move on to a little demo about how to delete only file inside a directory with Ansible playbook. I'm going to delete only the file and directory under the example folder of my login user, DevOps. Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you how to delete only file and directory inside a directory with Ansible Playbook. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with free dash and the name for our play. In my case, uh, could be interesting something descriptive like uh, delete files in uh, dir demo. Dir is directory, of course. Oh, that is going to target host all of my inventory and let me define also one variable, my path, that uh, default to home DevOps example. Two tasks on the task list. The first is to actually search for file to so collect files must be, is a nice name. That is going to use ansible.builtin.find module. Some parameter the paths is important, so will be my path, the value of my path variable, so you can customize this path as much as you want it. Uh, let me add also hidden file, so let me set to true, and as well all recursive content inside, so recurse true. What else? Uh, file type, uh, uh, let me define to, let me set it from file to any, the default, because we want uh, file and directory and link as well. Let me register the content as collected underscore file, pretty descriptive, file name variable name. And second step, after we collected the file, we need to remove the collected file. Using ansible.builtin.file, the module to interact with file system, some parameter, first is path, in my case will be item.path, so for each item we need the path of the file system, and the state must be absent. Uh, how to loop uh, for all the items? Well, we need uh, a loop condition statement with underscore items is the right one and uh, the collected file variable as a loop variable. That's it. 20 line of code, we are able to search for all the dependent file and for each file loop in the directory and remove it. Yay! Welcome to my terminal. 
First of all, let me connect to my demo machine via SSH DevOps as username at demoexample.com. This is a fresh Linux machine that I'm using for this demo purpose. As you can see, there is a one example directory with zero directory and zero file. So let's create some content. First of all, let's touch two files inside the example directory as well as create one directory named delete me. And inside this directory, let's create another file, delete me, file free.txt. So the final uh, hierarchy will be inside example directory to have one directory and three files in this way. I like three command, it makes everything very easy to understand. So now we have a content, it could be more complex, of course. So we are ready to run our Ansible code. So let's return to Ansible controller and run a code with Ansible-playbook. Let's specify also the inventory with dash E and the name of the playbook. In my case, file underscore only files YML. Uh, the execution will be super fast in my machine and wow, there is some loop content. As you can see, we have a change status, which means some operation were executed on the target machine. Oh, this is great. I can also read the file name that we just created in this playbook. If we execute again, we didn't see the file, so something happened. And this script is also even potent, as you can see. Let me connect to the target machine and now the directory tree of example reveal zero directory and zero file. Yay, we did, but the example directory is still present. Great job. Now you know how to delete only file inside a directory with Ansible. Thank you for watching and let's automate more of our infrastructure with Ansible. See us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!